Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good? Ready? Yes, ready. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. We're getting ready. Ready to share. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we are. Okay, how's the weather? Cool? Rainy? Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice, huh? Yes. <laughs> Now we have to wear a sweater, jacket. No. It's okay. Perfect for to go El Pital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, with a with a pot of co hot coffee, right, or chocolate. Chocolate, <laughs> better. <laughs> okay. And two pupusas. Yes, you know, the, at least <laughs> two or more. Two or more for me too <laughs> okay but big ones right the big ones okay. uh, the cra the crazy ones there is oh I think in, in our Japan I think they sell them right yes yes I think so uh -huh. yes, I, I have heard okay very good so what do we have today okay let me see today we're gonna have the um, Asking about places, then we had, I'm in mean, your neighborhood. Okay, the guy who's looking for the barber shop. Then we're gonna have the, this, there is, there are, one, any, and some. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Then, uh, but before we start, okay, we have a, let's see who, okay, Pablo. Pablo, do you want to, to share with us what you did in your last vacation or, or something that you did today? Just uh, an activity or something that you, that you did in the past, right? It can be the last, uh, last weekend, last month. Uh, a trip, I don't know, whatever. Okay. There the was a vacation of December. I visited the family, my girlfriend. Okay. We cooked together. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> Prepare, she's preparing the husband. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else? What did you do? What did you cook? I cooked. Uh, we cooked the. Uh, what do you say, Pablo? Uh, turkey. turkey. The turkey. turkey uh -huh. yes. Okay. And how was it? Was it good? So-so. Terrible. Good. Very good. Very good. 
you, did you did you end by in Pollo Campero because the turkey didn't work? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, the you know. <laughs> you know what? We better order, you know, some chicken. <laughs> okay. And that was last Christmas. Yeah, the last Christmas. Last Christmas. Okay. And for example, uh, how many how many people were there in your girlfriend's house? Uh, eight people. Eight people. Okay. Yes. Eight people ate turkey. Yes. <laughs> you know that uh, there is a joke. You say, "Why six is afraid is afraid of seven? Why six is afraid of seven? Son huevo palabras. Why okay. six is afraid of seven? Do you know? The number six, the number six is afraid of the number seven because seven, eight, nine. Okay. No? Don't get it. The pronunciation of the number eight is similar to the past tense of it. Okay. Okay. Then seven, the number seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Then the number six is afraid. Okay, it's afraid. That's why when you say eight people ate turkey, you see, oh, okay. it's the same the same pronunciation. Okay, for example, you you write. Uh, wait. Eight. And eight. The pronunciation is the same, okay? Why is six afraid of seven? Okay, because seven Eight. Okay. Yes, el chiste en inglés. Okay. okay, that's that's the joke in English. Okay. In Spanish it makes no sense because you say el siete se comió nueve, el, el ocho se comió nueve, right? Seven, el siete se comió nueve. So it makes no sense, but in English, yes, because of the pronunciation. It's un juego de palabras. Okay, for example, it's like this one. What is something that has wheels and flies? What is it? What is that? It's not even answer in English. Okay, the garbage truck. Okay, flies is okay, similar to volar, right? Flies. So that is another game. Okay, these are different similar pronunciations in English, right? The insect is fly, and the bear, the action is fly. Okay, for he, she, it, you say flies, and then the plural of fly is also flies. Okay, so you have to see the context. All right, then. Okay, what else did you do, uh, uh, Pablo, in that dinner last year for Christmas? Only that. 
Only. Okay, good. Then uh, let me see, Andres. What you what did you do in your last vacation? Hello. Hello, Andres. Repeat the question, please. Yes. What did you do in your last vacation? Some activities that you that you, you know probably performed during your vacation or yesterday or today using verbs in past. Yes, Andres, can you hear me? No? Okay, then uh, let's see, what about uh, Saul? Saul Hernandez. Hello, Saul. Okay. Oh, yes. Tell us what you did in your last vacation. Um, in last vacation, I went to Honduras, Tegucigalpa. Okay. 32 of December, 20, 20, night. 29. See, si, yes. 29. To visit my family, childhood friends, and co college who gradu graduated from high school. Okay. And um, we celebrate uh, Christmas, Catracha, Dancing Punta, and Playero. <laughs> okay. I, I come back um, five, um, of January. 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 30, 30, 30, yeah. On the fifth, the fifth day of January. Yes. Okay, very good. This year. That's it. Okay, excellent. You know, they know the Christmas catracha. No, this is new for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. nice. Okay, one more, one more, and then we continue. Marina, can you tell me what you did in your last vacation? Okay, thank you. I don't remember very well, but... Doesn't matter, no problem. Okay, I visited my parents in Metapan, and I rested in my house. I remember I, I went to Christmas show because my daughter participated. 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 Mm -hmm. And... Maybe I watched uh, TV and I cleaned my house. Okay, that's good. All right. Nice activities, okay? Remember, the idea is to practice verbs in past tense. Okay, very good. Marian, what did you do in your last vacation? In my last vacation, I am prepared uh, the party of birthday my children. Okay. I was very busy and very tired. But the party was fun, funny. Solamente. Only that. Okay. Good. And did your children get a lot of presents? Yes. Okay. A lot of presents. And they were happy? Yes. Okay. Very happy. On that's, December. Yes. That's the important thing, right? Sometimes we work a lot, you know, for the children's birthday parties, right? For our children. But when we see that they are very happy with the presents and playing with their friends and and I mean, that's the, 
that's the payment that we get, right? That's that's very nice. Right. Okay. Yes, it's very nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much. All right. Thank you. So then, uh, well, tomorrow we continue. Okay. Asking, asking for more. You know, every day you have to practice. Okay. Nobody has uh, said. Um, everybody's going to participate. Don't worry. Okay, very good. Now let's see, today we have, and we are going to include little by little other topics. For example, today we have there is and there are, right? When we talk about there is and there are, we're talking about things that, um, that let's say that exist around us, right? For example, in the room where I am in this moment, okay, if you can see there are, there are two curtains, okay? of different colors, right? You can say there are two curtains. There is one light blue curtain and one brown curtain. Okay, so we have, I have two, there are two. Uh, there is a chair. Light blue, light blue teacher? Light blue? Light blue. Light blue. Uh -huh. light blue? Yes, this one, the color. Uh -huh. Okay, and this one is brown. Okay. Okay. Uh, light brown and uh, uh, no existence. Yes, yes, there are not dark. Uh, when you, for example, if you see Beatrice, Beatrice background in the color is light blue, right? Yes, the color of the wall, okay, is light blue. The wall in your, for, and look at the in minor is dark blue. Dark blue. Right? And okay. you can see, for example, the background in the wall of Manuel is green, light green. And if you see the door in minor's background is dark green. So there are different tones, right? There are different tones. Sometimes you have light, so you have the normal color, but also you have dark. You have blue, then you have dark blue, you can have there are, well, women are, are, you know, really good for colors because they know the different tona tones that they have. Sometimes for men, it's more difficult, right? When you see a color pink, then it's, ah, pink is pink. But for women, there, are, there, there, is, there is fuchsia, there is... Fuchsia is... There is many, there are many colors, right? But there are different, but exist. That sometimes, but for men, we only say one color sometimes, okay? So, but then okay, you say, thank you. This is blue, but it's light. Okay, the one that you see, Beatrice, Beatrice's background. Okay, good. Then uh, you can also say there is a, there is a TV. Okay, there are two chairs. Uh, there is a table. Okay, all the things that you can see around. For example, I can see that uh, in your in your background, you can say there is a there is a picture, okay. There is a photograph, okay. So you did things that you can that you can identify, right? Good. Now let's see the platform. Oh, by the way, any do you have any questions about the platform? No. Have you had any problems with the platform? Okay. You are with all the exercises updated. Okay, whenever you have, okay, this is another thing that we're going to do at the beginning of the class. If you have questions or doubts about the platform, let me know so that we can check immediately the platform and after continue with the class. Okay, so that's, uh, that's another thing that we can do. The practice of bears uh, speaking and then check the platform and then we continue with the, with the topics of the day. Today we have Okay, this one, which is uh, about there is, there are one, any, and some. Okay, just let me share the sound with you. There we go. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. <clears throat> we'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, 
any and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind Between On the corner of if you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is In back of. Okay, before we go to the next explanation, okay, take a look at the prepositions that in this case are very important, right? So we have on, uh, next to, uh, then we have also near, Near or close to are synonyms. Okay, you can say, uh, is there a laundromat near here? Okay, is there a laundromat close to your house? Okay, uh, across from, it's like on the opposite side, right? You have a house and then on the other side of the street, you have another house. Okay, then you can say, for example, what is across from your house? Uh, my neighbor's house, a drugstore. Okay, you can say, I live across from the drugstore. I live uh, across from, from the store. I live across from, what, from, from a supermarket. Okay, I live across from, uh, from a barber shop, from a hospital. Okay, thank you. And then uh, that means on the opposite side, right? Like face to face. And then in front of, in front of is something that is probably on the same, on, on your side, the mismo lado de ustedes, right? For example, I have a tree in front of my house. Or I park my car in front of my house, not across from my house. Okay, so in front is on the same on the same side. Okay, when you talk about uh, across from is on the other side. Okay, then we have in back of is similar to behind. Okay, like I told you here, for example, if you see behind me, you will see the curtains. Okay, so that's what you will see here behind the curtains. Uh, between is when you have, for example, the, the two hands and my head, my head is between my hands, okay? Uh, on the corner of, it's very obvious, right? Is when you get to the end of the street, there is a corner where you can turn right or you can turn left, okay? Good. So then this is important to remember these prepositions uh, because you can also use them in your house. Behind, between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store 
is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay. I think she used in, the plaza is in front, but it is uh, across from too, because it's on the other side of the street, like the telephone booth. Okay, then in this the shopping center video, is uh, they are using is there uh, to talk about places in the in the neighborhood, right? But Each preposition of place. Okay, but before we we practice the platform, we are going to do some practice with the things that you have in your, in your uh, let's say, uh, in the environment where you are. For example, suppose if I ask, uh, if I ask minor, okay, is there a dog near you or close to you? Is there a dog? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. I'm gonna change it like this. Is there a dog in the room? Yes, there is, teacher. Yes, there is. Okay. Then you're going to write, yes, there is. And if the question is uh, negative, what would you say? No. There. No, there isn't. Okay. Good. Now, let's say... Um, uh, Jenny, is there a cup of coffee on your desk or on your table or is there a cup, a cup of coffee? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, very good. Manuel, Manuel Gutierrez, is there, a, let's see, is there a laptop in your room? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, good. Uh, Elena, Elena. Is there, um, let's see, is there a TV where you are? Yes, there is. Yes, there is, okay. Francisco, is, that, is there a hat on your head? Yes, there is. Yes, there is, okay, good. That's nice, it looks nice, it looks nice. Okay, um, let me, there are trees. Is there, a, is there a little girl in your house? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, only you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> now, uh, let's see, Manuel Alberto. Is there, um, let's say, is there any cheese in your refrigerator? There is. Yes, there is. Okay. Yes, there is. Is there any cheese? Uh, let's see. Saul. Is there is there any fruit in your house? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. So you see, you are using yes, there is. Okay. Um, Eduardo is there. Uh, let's say a cat in your house. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Very good. Marian, uh, is there a glass of water near you? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. Santos, is there an English book or dictionary? Is there an English dictionary? Uh, let's say on your desk? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. 
One, is there a soccer ball in your house? Hello, Juan. Okay, we have lost Juan for a minute. Uh, Andres, can you hear me? Hola, hola. Okay, Andres, is there a soccer ball in your house? Yes, soccer. there is. Yes, there is, right? Uh, is there a soccer game tonight? Este es para todos. Is there a soccer game tonight? Yes, there is. Yes, there Play is. Play Alianza. Alianza plays tonight, right? 9.30, nine I guess, right? Okay, yes. yes. Okay, good. So we're going to watch the game. So now we're going to go to bed late. Okay, very good. So then we have, uh, this is there is, yeah, is there. If you see, is there, is there, is there question. And then you say, yes, there is. And the, if the question is plural, are there. Okay. Are there any videotapes in your house? Yes, there are. Are there any CDs in your house? Yes, there are, right? Are there any trees in your garden? Are there any trees in your garden? Yes, there are. Are there any flowers? Are there any roses in your garden? No, there aren't, okay? No, there aren't. Uh, are there any tigers in Fureza? Here in Fureza? Yes, there are, right? Then if you go to the zoo, then you will find here some nice tigers. Okay, this is singular, plural. Now we're going to talk about a, the map. I'm gonna use, sorry. What's going on here? Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go- Okay, here. We say, is there a laundromat near here? Remember that we have the, the word ah. Okay, we're talking about one. And here, are there any grocery stores? Okay, this is plural. Okay, now let's see here. So we're gonna use, is there a, okay, is there a laundromat here, here? Are there any barber shops near here? Are there any supermarkets near here? Are there any uh, hospitals in San Salvador? Are there any hospitals in, uh, let's say in Santa Ana City? Okay, then you can use the word here. Yes, there is, no, there isn't. Oh, yes, there are, or no, there are, are there. This is singular. You may answer, there is. There is one. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office of place. Okay. Now we'll see the... Okay, here. Uh, man, uh, Lexi, Jenny, can you please read the instructions here? Instruction, take a look at the map, read the question, and choose the right place according to the direction given. Given, okay. Okay, good. Remember this. If you see the street, First Avenue, Main Street, and Second Avenue. Okay, we can say, for example, the post office is on, on Main Street. Okay, if you go to um, Los Proceres Boulevard, okay, here in El Salvador. Okay, what are some places 
on Los Proceres Boulevard. Can you tell me the name of some places on Los Proceres Boulevard? For example, Metro Center. Los, no, los, that's, that's Los Heroes Boulevard. Uh -huh. But they say met, met, Metro Centro is on Los Heroes Boulevard. Juguetón is on Los Proceres Boulevard. Uh -huh. eh, los Cebollines. Los Cebollines, Uca University. Eh, Burger King. Eh, the Bank, uh, the bank uh, Scotia Bank, creo. The Scotia Bank, yes. There is a Oscar, Scotia, uh, Scotia Bank. There is a Scotia Bank. There is a dollar C. Yes, too. the Grupo, Grupo Q also is uh, on Los Proceres Boulevard. There Cusca is a dollar C. Uh -huh. Cuscatlan Stadium. Yes. Epa. Wendy's. Epa. Wendy's. Wendy's, yes. Is the Wendy's. Cuscatlan, there is Cuscatlan Tower. The Cuscatlan Tower is on Los Tower. Proceres Tower. Boulevard. Yes. Like as a station, too? There is a gas station also, right? Yeah. Uca okay, University. So, Uca University, okay? So then this Choris. is the idea. The? Los Choris. Los Choris. Where, 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 Francis? Where have you? Yes, for EPA. <laughs> yes, oh, really? EPA. From EPA. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. That's a good, that's good to know. <laughs> yes. You, you, need to, you need to have identified all the Choris places in El Salvador, right? It's good. Okay, good. Yes, uh, then, for example, this is the idea, right? When we're talking about on, is because you go on the street and then on the sides, a los lados, then you will see those places, right? For example, uh, we can say that uh, UCA is on Los Proceres Boulevard across from Getcom, right? It's a call center, I guess, call center, Getcom. Uh, Torre Cuscatlán is across from uh, Pizza Hut, I guess, right? And is opposite, McDonald's. Or, uh, an opposite corner to McDonald's, right? Skin opuesta. Is opposite corner to McDonald's. Then you have a, a Cuscatlan Tower, McDonald's. Uh, let me see what else. I think the Scotia Bank is across from a gas station, I guess. I'm not sure. Or EPA. Okay. EPA is across from... Scotia Bank now is Bank Cuscatlan. Oh, yes, that's true. Okay, the, then now is the Cuscatlan Bank. That's true. Okay, so then this is the concept, the idea when we say on. For example, the first national bank is on Pine Street. Okay, the Kim Plaza Hotel is on Elm Street. Uh, what is this? Rose... Rosa's restaurant is on Maple Avenue, right? And then we have, what is this other one? Second Avenue. Then we know that Mom's and Pop's Grocery is on Second Avenue and Pine Street. And, <coughs> sorry, if you see the post office, where is this, the post office? Where is the post office? On the main across street. Main street? Across, no, on, on Main on. Street. You can say on, on Main corner Street. Of Main Street and First Avenue. Or you can say on, on the corner. On the corner of on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. That's more specific, okay? Because when you say only on Main Street, if, if I say for example, where is uh, where is EPA? Ah, it's on Los Proceres Boulevard. Wow, but Los Proceres Boulevard is from, you know, from Uca to, to what? To Hermano Lejano, right? So it's like two kilometers, more or less. It's long. But if you say, where is the EPA? Well, it's, EPA is on Los Proceres Boulevard across from, from what? From Dollar City. Okay, well, across from uh, Pollo Campero. Okay, so then in that way, it's easy for you to, to identify the place, right? You give more reference, okay? On Main Street, on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street, okay? Good, what about the gas station? Where is the gas station? 
Next to the public library? Next to the public library, correct. Next to the public library, see, it's next to. Okay, you can say near, near the public library, close to the public library, or next to. Next to is even Behind more. the First National Bank, can I say that? Uh, yes, you can say that, because if you're here, you say, oh, it's behind the First National Bank. Okay, you can go to the other side. What? Opposite. Opposite corner. Corner of. Opposite, uh, say it's on the opposite corner of the park. Okay, opposite to the park. Okay. Yes. A Jamison Hotel. The hotel, where is the hotel? On um, Seikon Avenue. It's on... Uh, it's on... No, this one is... On Elm Street. Street. On Elm Street, yes, here. Frank's Coffee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next to Frank's Coffee, correct? Coffee. Cafe. No, Frank's Cafe, sorry. Okay, cafe is the place, like the cafeteria, cafe. And coffee is what we drink. What about Mumps and Pops grocery? <laughs> Behind Jamie Sumoto. <laughs> uh huh, or on the corner of Pine Street and Second Avenue. Yes. Uh huh. That's the location. Across the park. Or, uh, Mom's across, and Pops across from the park. Between to the plaza. Between to the park. Um, Parker's drugstore. Yes, between the park and Parker's drugstore. Okay. Good. Top shoes. Uh -huh. You can also say, for example, where is the park? And the park is between First Avenue and Second Avenue, or between Pine Street and Main Street. Okay. Or you can also say it's between First National Bank and Moms and Pops Grocery. Okay. I mean, it's, it depends on how specific you are when you give directions, then it's better for the person who is asking, right? So that the person doesn't get lost. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. Is there, it says, is there a... Ah, Near here, yes, there is one. It's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Street, Maple Avenue. What place are they talking about? Library, hotel, or park? You have three options. Hotel. The hotel. Yes, there's one. It's hotel. on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. King Plaza Hotel. Sure, sure. King Plaza Hotel. Okay. The next one. Is there a bank, gym, or laundromat around here? Yes, there is one. It's next to Princess Grocery Store. Next, what is grocery next to uh, next to the grocery store? Grocery what is store. First National Bank? First National Bank. A so bank. it's the uh, first option, right? Right. Okay. Bank. Question three. Mm -hmm. Is there a bank around here? Three. Is there a? Uh, yes, there is. There is one on Main Street. Behind Parker's Drop Store. Department store. Department Hotels. store. Uh -huh. Sure. All day department store. Department store. This one. Okay, good. Number four. Is there a cafe, gas station, or hotels on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. Uh, 
A veces. Gas station. Gas station. Sure. Okay. Yes, the gas station. Gas station. Number five. Are there hotels, public library, or grocery stores on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Grocery restaurants. Grocery stores. Grocery stores. Okay. Now look at the answer. Yes. Okay. The Pine Street is at two stores, Mom and Pops and Parker's. Okay, Grocery. good. All right. The next one, number six. Is there a gym, shoe store, or a grocery store? It's between the post office and all day's department store. A gym, a Joe's a gym. gym. The Joe. gym? gym. Joe's gym. Joe's gym. The gym. Okay, number seven. Is there a ah, on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue across from Shopping Center. Electronic store. Electronic store. Okay. Number eight. Is there around here? Yes, there is. There is there is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Post office. Post office. Post office. No, there is no pay phone. He said there is one on the pay corner phone. of Main Street. Pay, pay phone. phone. Pay phone. Pay phone. Is there a hotel, cafe, or public library near here? Yes, there is one next to a gas station. Public library. Public library. And the last, are there any? On First Avenue, it says, no, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurants. Okay, we have yes, here. a restaurant, but the Maple, no, it's a street, it's Avenue. Avenue, right? Uh -huh. Yes, there must be a mistake here in that. In the structure here, maybe, right? Uh, First Avenue, that there are some, and it says there are some, should be restaurants. Restaurants, right? yes. Uh -huh. but, yes. But there is only one, actually, unless they consider French Cafe as a restaurant, too. Okay, but this is Avenue, no street. Okay, good. Then let's see. Okay, we check. Then the hotel is correct, the bank, department store, gas station, grocery stores. Then we have the gym, number seven, electronic store, payphone, it's okay, public library, and restaurants. Okay, people, ya no nos perdemos, right? We can go to 
can go to the United States and there will be no problem. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, all of them correct. Okay, so that you can see how to answer. And now we can practice a little bit more with the, with the questions here. For example, is there a post office on Main Street? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, now mm -hmm. please write one question Okay, one question each for the, I mean, like this one, for example, is there a, is there a, let's see, is there a hotel on 2nd Avenue? No, there aren't. No, there isn't, right? Is there a hotel? Remember, listen to the question and according you answer uh, according hotel, to the question. Uh, hotel. Mm -hmm. Singular, is there a hotel near on Second okay. Avenue? No, there isn't, okay, no, there isn't. And are there any hotels on, let's see, on Maple Avenue? Yes, there is. Yes, there is one. And then you can say, yes, there is one. Okay, on Maple okay. Avenue. Okay, is this one. Okay, but if I say, are there any hotels on Elm Street? Are there any hotels on Elm Street? Yes, there is one. Yes, there are Jay's, Jameson Hotel and King Plaza Hotel. Yes, then yes, there are. Right, yes, there are two hotels. Okay, Jameson the Hotel and Kim Plaza Hotel. Okay, one question each, okay? Right, escriba una pregunta and then y la hacemos así. Everybody can answer the questions. You can see the map, yes? Yes. Okay. In the chat, teacher. No, orally. I mean, we're going to use oral question. No, you write it in. Okay. okay. Or, or just think about it. Just think about it and then you use it. Okay. Who's ready? Okay. Are you ready? Me. <laughs> okay. Ask yes. the question. Okay. Ask is, the question. Is there, okay. Is there a shoes store on Pine Street? Okay. Aquí cualquiera puede responder. The question is in general, right? It's open question. Is there a shoe store on Pine Street? Yes, there is. Yes, there is one. Yes, there is one. Perfect. Okay, good. Second question. Another question. Are there what, what are you any? <laughs> Uh -huh. What happened, Manuel? The lady <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. It's okay. I don't worry. <laughs> no, that's okay. No problem. Okay, Jenny. Okay. Are there grocery in the Pine Street? Okay. Are there grocery stores on Pine Street? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yes, there Pine there Street. Are. There is one. Two. Two. That's correct. Yes. Next to the bank and next to the drugstore. Very good. Thank you. I'm ready, teacher. Go ahead. 
there a restaurant on First Avenue? Okay, people, is there a restaurant on First Avenue? Is there a restaurant? No? No, there, no, there uh, isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, is there a... There's no restaurants, correct. Thank you. Okay, another question? Francisco. Francisco, okay. go ahead. Question. You ask a question. <laughs> I don't know, I, I am lost. It's okay. You just have to ask a question about a place in the map. Is there a post office on Main Street? Is there a gas station on Second Avenue? Whatever. Right okay. or wrong? Okay. Is there a Joe's gym in the First Avenue? On First Avenue? On First Avenue? Mm -hmm. Is there Joe Gyms in on First Avenue? Okay, people. There is. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Yes, no, there isn't. No, there because isn't. Joe's Gym is on Main Street. Correct. Very good. Okay. One, one more. Beatrice, ask a question. Is there a public library on the Second Avenue? Okay, who asked the question? All right, is there a public library on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, good. All right, Beatrice. Um, is there any restaurant on Pine Street? Okay. Is there any restaurant on Pine Street? Is there any restaurant on Pine Street? No. No, there is. No, there aren't. No. Depends. Mm. Yes, the depend. When I get the restaurant, yes. I have a corner, yes. corner of. Yes, it's on the is. corner of Pine. You can say yes, there is. Or you can say yes, there is. Okay. The Roses restaurant. Uh -huh. mm, yes. yes, you can say that, yes, there is. Okay, good question. Uh, what else? The mo remember that the most specific is, yes, there is one on Maple Street and Pine Street. But in this case, if you are here, obviously, it's on, okay? Aunque you always use on is the front, right? It's el, el on the street is the sur and north. The avenue is west and west. I think so. I think so. So it should be north, south, north. This is north, north, south, and this is east, west. According okay. to this, according to this map. Okay. It's similar in El Salvador, right? Yes. Las calles van de este a oeste, right? East to west and yes. uh, north to south. Oriente, poniente. Uh -huh. Correct. That's the one. Good. Okay, one more question. Another question? No question, teacher. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, so then we have this map here. Sorry. Then okay. So then uh, we have this one uh, for tomorrow. We have neighborhood taking into account questions like how many, how much with quantifiers. Okay. So tomorrow you have uh, practicing with. Uh, Things like a few little, how many, how many stores are there in your city, in your neighborhood, how many restaurants, okay? 
in questions with plurals and singulars. That will be for tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to practice your verbs in past tense. And I'm looking for a, for a nice, I've been trying to find a nice uh, a list of verbs in past tense to, to send you. And then we can have some other activities, right? So we can play a little game about using verbs in past tense. Okay, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night, tomorrow. everybody. Tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. See you. Tomorrow. Take care. Take, take care so take much. Care. Yes. Be careful.